The Treasury Department says it can no longer legally borrow to pay the debts Congress has already incurred and is asking lawmakers to raise the debt ceiling. Secretary Janet Yellen sent Congress a letter explaining some of the extraordinary measures the department is taking to prevent the U.S. from defaulting on debt, including shifting money between accounts and putting a temporary hold on some federal employee retirement payments and health funds for retired postal workers. That gives Congress until June 5th to raise the ceiling. Why wouldn't we sit down now, set a budget, set a path to get us to a balanced budget? House Republicans, especially those who demanded concessions to elect Kevin McCarthy speaker, say they want spending cuts before they'll agree to raise the debt limit. Democrats say some things are non-negotiable. There can be spending cuts. Uh, let's talk about them. But never on Social Security and Medicare. Even the back and forth here on Capitol Hill over raising the debt ceiling can have economic fallout that impacts us all. Just go back to 2011, the last time we had a big impasse. The stock market went down by 14% over four weeks. The bond market went berserk and borrowing costs increased. We were looking at job losses and it did take time to recover. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger says the battle over the debt ceiling could push the economy into recession. We're already slowing down yeah. after this post-pandemic recovery. Right. This is not the moment to have a fight like this. House Speaker McCarthy and President Biden have yet to discuss their differences on raising the debt limit. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Capitol Hill.